What's up everybody? Bobby B here coming at you with a unboxing slash setup video for the DDJ 1000. Brand new, opening it up just for y'all. There we go ladies and gentlemen. It's on back order for a lot of people. Um, my boy at Guitar Center hooked me up, so if you know local people to sell you some equipment, definitely make friends with them because they can pull some strings. But let's get into it. Standard Pioneer box. Gives you all the layout on the back. Kind of what's included. Styrofoam covering. Make sure everything's nice and protected for you. There it is. What a beauty. I've been waiting to record this video for y'all. So I've had it for about a week and I haven't even been able to play with it. So, I'm dying to do this. Everything's nice and wrapped. Typical Pioneer fashion. What a beauty. A lot of y'all know it's got the CDJ 2000 wheels on it, so you can adjust how heavy or light that is. Magvel fader, which is one of my favorites. So I used to have a DDJ SX, so ended up swapping out the fader on that for Inno fader. So I'm really looking forward to the Magville. Keep it all Pioneer. I didn't have issues with the Innovator, but I wasn't a huge fan with it. To each their own. So yeah, here it is. Let me take some shots for you, and we'll come back into setup. switch line phono on the far third and fourth channel on here. Boost out, master two out, and two XLRs out. The key thing about this controller for its price range, two USB ports. That is clutch if you are out and switching between two DJs, makes it seamless for you to switch through. You can switch USB-A, USB-B, or line right up here at the top. It is essentially a standalone mixer with two C 
CDJ slash MIDI controllers on the side. So really looking forward to digging into some of these effects and whatnot. I don't know that I'll do a full review tutorial thing. Um, there's a lot of those out there already, but I didn't really find a lot of unboxing videos. So let's go back to the box. There are a few more items. Your handy dandy goodie bag. It does come with a uh, record box license, record box, record box DJ license. And of course, your manual. And then your bag of cables for you. So of course you have your power cable and brick. And USB cable. Once you get the controller and whatnot, you're actually, well, I'm, I was a Serato guy, Serato DJ, for the last five plus years probably. And I'm not gonna say it was terribly difficult to switch over to record box, but, but the waveforms, cue points, none of that transfers over unless you use, I think it's called DJCU, has a program out there which you can pay for, download, whatever. And it essentially reads your XML file from Serato DJ and brings it over to Rekordbox. I did not want to do that. I know I could have, it only cost like $7, but I wanted to kind of learn Rekordbox inside and out. So I went ahead and reanalyzed my entire library, which took me about three days, not gonna lie. A lot longer than I expected. So let's jump into the computer. I'll do some screen sharing with you and kind of show you how to set up your record box. Okay guys, so first you're gonna to need to go to record box, which is recordbox.com. And you're going to go to record box DJ. And then if you scroll down to the very bottom, this is for those of you that have a license already, because I found this a little troublesome on their website as well. So you don't want to use this buy record box DJ because you've already purchased it through the controller or their lighting program, whatever you've got with the license. So you go to the bottom, do this record box DJ 30 day trial. Gonna ask you to agree. You'll download it. And once you've downloaded it and run the installer, once you're inside that, that's when you'll put in your, it'll ask for your activation code. Your activation code is what's gonna turn it into a full record box license versus the free 30 day trial. So you're gonna have to create a login first download this, and then activate your license that way. Let's go, I've already downloaded it, so let's go ahead and open record box. It is, and I haven't done this yet, so we can go through this. I need to download the new firmware for the DDJ-1000, says they found an issue. So let's do a quick walkthrough of Rekordbox and then we'll jump over to Pioneer's website and download the firmware for it. So do you want to allow incoming network connections? I believe this is for the Kuvo program, which is their playlist database type thing on Pioneer's website. So if you're not using that, I don't believe you need to allow that, but and before anybody jumps down my throat, yes, I was, am, was, still am using iTunes as my 
crate slash playlist library just easiest for me I do a lot of mobile gigs so I can kind of play around with things that way especially coming from Serato that, <coughs> that just made it easier for me but this is record box obviously you have multiple versions you can switch between I like horizontal two deck personally you do have lighting, performance, and export. I haven't set up any lighting yet. I haven't downloaded or bought their lighting controller. I was originally using Sound Switch with Serato, which I do like, and I like the idea behind it. Sound Switch isn't quite as user friendly as I was hoping it'd be. Um, I'm very hopeful that Rekordbox has that under control even though the program itself isn't quite as user friendly as Serato was. Coming over from Serato, one of the major things I found is key detection in Rekordbox. I was unaware when I made this switch that record box does not do Camelot key so in order to get Camelot key you actually have to download purchase and download what they call mixed in key and that is essentially a third party program which you can write all of your codes to or all of your keys to you'll put in all your songs it'll run through that and then you import them into record box update key tags which you can do you highlight some tracks right click reload tags is how you would go about updating your keys for record box and mixed in key and all that good goodness so yeah, two Q songs. You can do it just how you did in Serato as far as now that Serato DJ has off deck play play mode. You can use that kind of how record box is set up. Go in, set your cue points and whatnot. The keyboard shortcuts are slightly different, which I kinda of find annoying, but I guess each program means different functionality so so yeah go through Play around with cue points, set them how you want. I obviously haven't done all of these yet. Another thing that I just realized is Serato pulled over the DJ City auto cue points, and it does not look like Record Box is doing that, which is rather annoying. I know cue points are somewhat easy to set, but when they come over from DJ City it is very nice to have that so not a fan on that as of right this second functionality of the program itself seems like it could use some updates but the functionality is still there obviously so we'll see what happens You do have export mode, so if I want to export into a USB drive, obviously it's saying I don't have any devices right now, but this is where you go in and set for each song. Also, if you click on a song, it's going to start playing where you click. If you click on the beat grid itself, if you double click and the title or whatnot, it'll pull it up to the top and you can set cue points again that way
So you get the idea that this is the export mode, so then you would essentially export it onto a USB drive if you're going to use CDJs and such that uses a external sound card. So that is a quick run through of Rekordbox. Let's jump over to Pioneer's website. and see if I can get this firmware okay so to get to the firmware you'll go to support software firmware updates you can actually get the driver here as well so you scroll down find the controller obviously if you're looking at this for the DDJ1000 we're going to look at that Then you have firmware update and drivers for both Mac and Windows. So you would download the firmware link and driver link. I have already done this, so I'm not going to redo it. Download the driver link. Read the manual for installation procedure for the driver. The driver is pretty self-explanatory. It literally walks you through it. The firmware is a little more troublesome. You need to look at this firmware update guide. I will also link all of these down in the description of the video. So if you open the DJ firmware guide, it's kind of a step-by-step -step process in here. Gives you a quick walk through how to find it and then how to unzip and install. You're going to want to make sure you have power running to your DDJ1000 as well as the USB from your computer to the USB A port on the board itself. And it tells you all that in here too, somewhere. Yeah, right here. So yeah, this will walk you through on how to update the firmware, gives you the status bar, top LED flashes once it's done, and then you would be good to go on the firmware update. So that's the pretty easy walkthrough on that. I'm going to set up and see what it does now so if y'all have any questions on anything comment down below i'll try to answer any questions that come